There we go. I recognize that it's a, a challenging time right now. And um, while I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting into anything too um, political or too heavy, it, it's still, it, it is worth mentioning that I think we can all understand that this is a very new age that we're in. Wouldn't you agree? You shake your head if you're on mute. <laughs> and how many of you are experiencing some challenges because of that? Some mindset issues, juggling a lot of different things, you know, trying to understand where we might be going in the future. And yet at the same time, how many of you feel a deeper sense of faith and belief? Good. And we're going to talk about that too. Um, so I, again, I'm just excited that you're here. I hope you make this a part of your um, routine and that you start your Mondays with me. Um, so again, my intention is to support you, to support you through a lot of these um, challenges and to inspire you and to motivate you to take some action. Is that okay? Say yes. Good. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, um, so actually let me back it up and just tell you what, how this started because it literally became an idea in my head maybe 72 hours ago. Um, so I have, um, as many of you know, I work with three Keller Williams offices. We have about 500 phenomenal agents that are a part of that community. And um, some of us have done other, you know, extra things to stay in touch and just support each other. And every Monday morning, more or less on, on Facebook, if you're friends with me there, I usually put a positive quote and call it the Monday morning mojo. And so it just started to, you know, escalate in my head, like, okay, well, I want to reach out more. I want to connect and support more. What if I took that concept and just expanded it into a half hour conversation? So every week I'm going to focus on a different topic and we're going to go through that, a little lesson, nothing too heavy because it's early. And then I'm going to give you a couple action steps. And the reason for that is because what I know to be true as a coach is that the opportunity to really create change in your life is going to show up through your activities. Right. So we can talk about a lot of stuff and I could even give you an hour long lecture or whatever. At the end of the day, what will make a difference for you is being able to implement it somehow. So then I'm going to follow up at the end of the call with a couple of quick action steps. And it's up to you. If you want to just sit here and hang out and enjoy this call every week, you are more than welcome to do that. And if you want to take it to another level and you really want to see this make some changes for you in your life, then I would encourage you to do the activities, right? And then the Facebook group is your community, right? That's where we can show up as a tribe. And I want you to use that as a platform. I would love for you to share what you're working on during the week, you know, share any wins or even challenges. I mean, we're not going to go negative, <clears throat> but we are going to be real. Does that make sense? Because real is important, right? Every day is a different day. And some days you are conquering the world. And on other days, you know, you're just trying to make it to 10 o'clock, right? And see if there's enough coffee in the cupboard, right? So I get that. So I want you to be real. I want you to feel that you can support each other. And you all have the power to be encouragers, right? So it's, it's the things that you share that can mean something to someone else. And I'll post different things there too, different um, tools and tips and, and, and some things to inspire you throughout the week until we see each other again on, on the following Monday. Um, so hang out with us as long as you can, stick with it. I mean, this, this could be something that we look forward to for a long time. Um, so thanks again for joining me. I see some people are chatting. We have Karen from Florida joining us. That's another thing that I love about this platform. People can come in from all over. And, you know, I just feel if I could say that God has really blessed me and given me an opportunity to connect with a lot of people. And what good are those connections if we can't really use them? So uh, I'm, I'm really, it's, a, it's really a joy to do this with all of you. So are you ready to kind of kick it off a little? Okay, so I, um, gonna, I'm going to share my screen. Just give me one quick second. Okay, can you see that? Good. All right, can you see the slide? Somebody just nod or say yes. Can you all see the slides? Good. Yes. All right. 
So this is uh, our Monday Morning Mojo. And again, um, just to tell you a little bit about how uh, we got this started, it was the Facebook post that I was putting up calling it the Monday Morning Mojo. And some people have reached out to me and they've asked me like, what the heck is Mojo? Is it something that I lost, something that I have? Is it a person? So what, what is Mojo? It's actually a term that we use for power, magic, um, life energy. And so um, this is really something that I want you to think about right now. So where are you pulling in a lot of your life energy? And you know, where are you really connecting with your own power? So if you haven't done so already, I'm gonna invite you to grab some paper and pen. You may wanna take notes. Um, and if you feel like you've lost your mojo lately, then you're in the right place. Um, because we're going to use this as an, an opportunity to attract more energy into our lives. Um, so if you are looking to get your mojo back, what that really means is that you're looking to gain more of your own confidence. You're looking to gain more of your self-esteem. You're looking to boost your energy. Uh, and you're looking to increase your enthusiasm. And regardless of, of how you feel right now or where you are in your life, uh, maybe a lot of you are really managing this, um, I hate to say new normal, I'm looking for a new term, so I'll work on that, but let's just call it that today. Uh, and maybe you're, you're giving yourself like a real A for that effort. And some of you may be experiencing some real like confusion and challenges with it. So we're gonna work on gaining that mojo back and we're gonna work on really looking at how to expand that life energy. Um, and my goal, as I said, is to inspire you. Uh, that's a big word for me. I use that word in my mission statement, my um, personal life purpose. We might talk about that in a couple of weeks, um, we'll see. And um, to inspire someone is to really fill them uh, fill them up with an urge to make change, to fill them up with an urge to be creative. So my goal is to inspire you uh, throughout this series. And as I said before, take some action. Um, and I think that if we can make that action really creative, then we can see um, even the smallest changes add up to be a big impact for you. And even if life feels really good for you right now, there's nothing wrong with going from good to great. Would you agree? Okay, feel free to use the chat anytime too. I know I've asked you all to mute yourselves and I'm sorry for that. It's just that sometimes the background noise can be a little distracting, but I'll give you plenty of time to talk to me in a minute and each other. Um, so if you wanna take some notes, write this down because I love the literal meaning of the word inspire. And it is to, um, to inhale. That is the meaning of the word inspire, to breathe in. Right, so even right now, if everyone just sit up in your chair and just, you know, put your hands flat on your lap or your table and just take a really deep breath. And blow it all out. If you do that three times, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll feel a definite change, not only in your body, but in your, in your emotional well-being. So I think that if you're taking notes, write this down. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe throughout the day. Breathe in, breathe out and release whatever you might be holding on to. So as I offer you this weekly opportunity to inhale some really good stuff here, uh, this is going to really give you, I hope, a new outlook on some things. And uh, as we breathe in a new mindset and we look at some things from a different perspective, um, my goal every week is gonna be to cover, as I said earlier, one topic. And I was thinking over the weekend, what topic do I wanna to start with for the first call? And there's so many great things that I, I think we'll talk about in the weeks to come. And as I got going on this week, I said to myself, I think the most important thing you know, to talk about is something that everyone can relate to, um, because that's the goal for this call too, whether you're you know, old, young, male, female, it doesn't really matter. And you know, I, I think there'll be something for everyone here so my, my goal for this one this morning was to focus on you and for you to start to think this morning about self. And I figured that what better place to start than with yourself. And then I, I really got into this topic in my mind about self-care. So that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about this morning. And I want to I wanna ask you what your own thoughts or definitions are around self-care. 
And I think, I think you might agree uh, that a lot of people, um, when they think of self-care, might think in terms of spa, long hot bath, really great book, exercise, meditation, eating right. Um, and, and all those things are fantastic and important and essential, especially now, right, to provide you um, with what you need um, to feel like you can fill up again. Um, and, and I think that pampering yourself is huge. And I think that we should be making the time to do these things and to take care of ourselves. But what if self-care was a little bit more than that? And what if it was um, a little bit deeper? And I feel also the need to share with some of you on this call that self-care is not selfish. So write that down, self-care is not selfish. See, I know a lot of you are taking care of kids, taking care of spouses, family members, parents perhaps. Many of you are trying to navigate things like you've never done before with homeschooling and working from home and wondering, you know, uh, what the summer is going to look like, what the next school year is going to look like, can we go on vacation, can we not go on vacation. I mean, you're, you're thinking about a lot of things and you're thinking about a lot of people. And I guarantee uh, a lot of you are still working and also doing what you can to support the causes and charities, maybe more so now, that are important to you. And see, at the end of the day, if all of that is going to remain a priority, then you have to move yourself to the top of the list because you cannot serve from an empty vessel. In other words, you can't give what you don't have. If you're always giving it away and not taking time to really look at how to fill up the bucket or look at how to honor yourself and put yourself first, then you, know, you will find yourself um, feeling a lot more than just burnt out. So what are some ways that you can uh, put self-care first? Or, or how can we look at self-care, I, I think, in a different way? Um, the first thing that I think we, and there's a lot of ways we can look at self-care, but I think self-care is also finding your voice uh, so that you can be heard. So what do I mean by that? Well, it means that you're willing and confident enough to speak your mind. See, you can take all the long hot baths you want in the world, you can read a great book, you can meditate and do yoga, and we can really believe that we're taking good care of ourselves. And again, all those things are great. Yet, if we're not showing up in our full authentic power, then are we really taking good care of ourselves? So finding your voice just means that you are willing to share your thoughts, you're willing to connect, you're willing to collaborate, you're willing to show up and not shrink back and not feel that you don't have something to lend to a conversation or to um, any, any given situation. And in some ways, I just wanna say congratulations for showing up this morning, right? for being on this call and, and saying, I'm gonna do something for myself. I don't even know really what Anna Gibbs is doing this morning, but I'm gonna check it out. And so you really, you put yourself first in that sense. So finding your voice is a way that you show self-care. Being your most authentic self is a way that you um, show self-care. Being able to understand who you are at your core and recognizing you know, what it is that makes you different and unique and taking time to discover more about that. You know, who you were divinely created to be. Not the title you have at work, not the name someone calls you like mom or grandma, as, as wonderful as it may be, but who were you really created to be? Why are you here, right? And who do you show up as? What, what, when we think of ourselves in our most authentic self, what is that? Who is that? And I guarantee you that it's, it's, it's wonderful and unique and brilliant. Um, and so if you can find ways to express yourself as your authentic self, is that self-care? Finding your purpose in life is self-care, right? So um, the, the greatest gift you can give to yourself is to really take the time to understand more of your purpose and how to live it out. So when you think about your purpose, 
and really stepping into that, that is truly living. That is really the epitome of putting yourself first. And when, and if you, it is important for you to give back to others, then that is a gift you give to other people. When you step into your own authentic self and into your own power, then you have the ability to use whatever those gifts are to help other people. So if I could just be really transparent and vulnerable for a minute, when I thought about doing this, I had that, that little 60 second conversation with myself was like, oh, no one's gonna jump on that call. No one's gonna wanna know what I have to say. Whatever topic I pick, someone's gonna say, I don't need to hear about that. All the, the drunk monkey stuff, right? All those noises. But then I had to really acknowledge that I feel this is my purpose. I feel my purpose is to be a teacher. I feel my purpose is to be a coach, to inspire and encourage people. You're doing all the work, but I just feel like I'm here to be maybe a pathfinder, right? I'm like shining the flashlight on, on the journey for you. And so if I didn't do things like this, I would be living up to my own purpose. And I have to believe there's at least one of you who is getting something out of this. And as long as one of you is getting something out of this and finding value, then I fulfilled my purpose. And it's an amazing feeling. So what is your purpose? What are you here to do? Maybe you don't know, maybe you're not sure, and that's okay. Are you making the time to figure it out? Because that's self-care. Another thing that we have to talk about when we talk about self-care is be kind to yourself. What is the inner dialogue going on up here? Is it positive? Is it encouraging or is it negative and is it critical, right? And I get it, throughout the day, it can go back and forth. And you know what, me too. The key though is to be aware when those negative thoughts come in and to really work on turning them around quickly. Because you, if you're, so many of you do such amazing things. You're so kind, compassionate. You're doing a lot to take care of other people, yet, if we could play back what is going on up here in your own mind, I guarantee you would be like, take it back. You'd probably say, oh my gosh, would you ever talk to other people that way? Probably not. So I want you to be kind to yourself. I want you to love yourself. Look in the mirror every day and say, you're doing a good job. You are doing the best you can at every, any given moment. And I think being kind to yourself is also forgiving yourself. And whatever that is about for you, Find a way to acknowledge that you are, you are, you're good, right? Believing that you are enough. Instead of, of worrying that you're not smart enough, fast enough, thin enough, uh, creative enough, whatever it is, you are enough. See, the goal is not perfection. Somebody needs to write that down because some of you are really striving for perfection and that is, that is hard. It is not perfection, guys. It is really about making progress, right? It's about growth. So if you're growing and moving forward in all different ways, even if it's one small step at a time, then, then that is really the goal. It's not about being perfect. It's impossible to be perfect. So be kind to yourself and believe that you're enough. Another form of self-care that I wanted to talk about this morning is um, gratitude. So gratitude is probably the number one way that you can show self-care because it raises your vibrational level. It is the highest energy we can experience when we, when we feel and express gratitude. Not only does it make that person feel good that you're expressing gratitude to, but it makes you feel good. So gratitude is powerful. And we're gonna probably talk a lot more about gratitude, I think, next week. And uh, just as a footnote, next week is Memorial Day weekend. I will be here Monday morning at 7.30. It's up to you if you want to join me or not. And that's cool. Uh, but again, we record this every week. So I'll be putting this on the Facebook group. Um, so gratitude is a very high vibration. And uh, your life can really open up when you express gratitude. Because I think universally, uh, the universe is here really to support us. And as we accept and reflect abundance or express gratitude, I believe that it's like a, a boomerang effect, right? And it all just starts coming back to us. So the more that we express gratitude, I think the more good we call into our lives. And then the last thing that I wanted to say today about self-care, 
uh, is, uh, and definitely some of you need to hear this one, is saying no to anything that does not serve you or support you. Saying no to anything that does not serve you or support you. And, and that is big because I think a lot of us are finding ourselves and I don't mean to sound harsh, but selling ourselves out a little bit by doing things that just don't bring us joy, by being around some people possibly that really bring us down or suck some energy from us, um, and, and possibly being a part of something uh, that you know, just isn't really filling them up po in a positive way. So where are you finding yourself in that position? You know, where can you step up and say no? Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to put some boundaries up or put some limitations up. And, and that is healthy. Uh, it's not being selfish, right? Because remember, self-care is not selfish. So there are a lot of things that I think we could really put into this list. But I made a decision that I thought, you know, these were some of the things that I felt um, maybe were more compelling to talk about this morning. So um, self-care is finding your voice, being your most authentic self. Finding your purpose, being kind to yourself, believing that you are enough, expressing gratitude, and saying no to whatever doesn't serve you. So that is probably the most important takeaway that everyone has to remember is, again, self-care is not selfish, and don't do things that don't serve you. So self-care is an activity. Uh, that's the first thing I want you to realize. Self-care is an activity. Uh, any activity that puts you at the top of the list. So if locking the bathroom door for a half an hour and taking a long hot bath is gonna put you at the top of the list, go for it. And the same way that uh, putting up boundaries and working or making the time to really ask yourself what is your purpose is also self-care because it's putting you at the top of the list. And the thing is that it's something you have to be intentional about. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen by accident. Uh, growth is intentional, and this opportunity for discovery has to be intentional. So that means you have to make some time. So let's talk about what some work might be to help you really um, expand this topic and for you to feel unstoppable. So we, this is what we're going to ask you to do or what I'm going to ask you to do this week. So um, I will put this on the Facebook group. And I will ask you if you have paper and pen to write this down. So here, I, I hate to call it homework. Some of you are going to be triggered by that word, right? Who, who likes homework in school? I didn't always like homework. Uh, but we're going to call it your action steps. Does that sound good? Write these down. This is what you're going to work on. So we said self-care is about finding your purpose. I talked about that a lot. So I'm going to ask you to get some paper, a journal, a notebook, and set some time aside. You have to set some time aside for yourself. And I'm gonna ask you to answer these questions. First question, what would I do if nothing could stop me? What would I do if nothing could stop me? So in other words, if all the roadblocks, all the reasons were suddenly gone, what would you be doing? Would you be in a different business? Would you be writing a book? Would you be touring? Uh, would you be singing? Would you be starting a not-for-profit? What is it? Maybe it's something even simple like redecorating your home. I, I don't know, whatever it is. What would you be doing if nothing could stop you? Number two, answer this question for yourself. What brings you real joy? What brings you real joy? Because when you find your passion, you, you really get closer to your purpose. The third question, am I doing something daily? Am I doing something daily to create the life I wanna live? Am I doing something daily to create the life I wanna live? And if you find that you're not doing enough of those things, then obviously you're gonna ask yourself, well, what can I add? And again, this is not about perfection. It's about progress. So don't feel like you have to have this like transcendental change overnight. It's, it's one small thing sometimes that can make a huge difference. And it's about making a choice to put yourself first. 
So I know that um, it is eight o'clock and if you need to jump off this call, feel free. I do, you know, we took a little extra time in the beginning just to go through some, um, you know, welcomes and housekeepings. And I know there's a lot of stuff here in the chat. So I am just going to um, ask if anyone has any ahas or feedback, you can come off, uh, off mute and just share with us if there's something you feel you got out of this morning's session. Anna, I will share. I got to hop off, so I'm going to say this quickly. First sure. of all, thank you so much. It was, um, you know, sometimes you're at the right place at the right time and you hear what you need. Um, this was great. I a couple of weeks ago, and you and I have talked about this, I was going through a tough time. You know, we're stuck in the house, all this stuff. And bold for those of us, I don't know how many people are with Keller or not on the call, but I, I'm There's doing a few. And uh, bold is a, a, a training uh, lead generation program that, that has a huge mindset component. Right. And you're, the minds, and I love both of them, but I love the mindset stuff more there. And, um, the, the gratitude piece, the daily five to thrive in that I, you know, start my morning with it. And it's that coming from gratitude that really, you know, helped lift me out of that really crappy place that I was in. So I love what you said. Um, I took all kinds of notes and I'm going to start a journal on this. And I just, I thank you very much because the self care part and the, the one that really uh, like hit me is the believing that you are enough because it's so easy to you know kick ourselves when we're down and 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 criticize ourselves and you're right we would never talk to somebody else like that so mm. that was wonderful so thank you sweetheart very much thank you thank you for sharing liz okay bye guys everybody have a good day you too hey anna yes good morning good morning how are you i'm good so good to see you I, I wouldn't, I, I was so excited that you were doing this, um, <laughs> you know, and, and it's so funny because you get to reconnect in ways with people that you always wanted to connect. Yeah, I said that in the beginning of the call, Magdalene, it was so good, yeah, so when so, is the next morning? Uh, I, I run an eight o'clock coffee meet with my staff, I'm principal of a middle school down in Queens now. Oh, uh, awesome. And I do mindfulness in the afternoon, but, but I'm finding that I need to recharge and you just gave me the perfect recharge or the start off for my week. So oh, thank you. I'm so grateful for that. And I'm going to uh, hopefully be a regular member of your and it's the right time of the day for me because my day as a principal starts at eight o'clock. Yeah, that was, you know, I know a few people on Facebook were like, oh, it's so early and I get it. And, uh, you know, although I'm hoping to inspire some people to to you know, maybe realize getting up early and getting started can really make a big difference in their lives. Um, yet, honestly, this was the only time I had because I get going around 8, 8.30 myself with work. So, um, and you don't want to do Monday morning mojo at 11 o'clock, you know, I love <laughs> we're, it. Already, no. we're already in to the day. So, uh, yeah. No, but this is great, especially, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter where you are in the continuum. You know, wherever you are in the continu continuum, whatever kind of work you're doing, this is perfect. So I want to say peace, gratitude to you this morning. Thank you. You know, I look forward to connecting with you again, you know, here and then maybe some other point. So uh, I'm really excited about that. I've had some great people reach out to me uh, and say, you know, I've been following you on Facebook for years or you know, I haven't seen you in a while in person. I'm looking forward to this platform. I think, again, I'm getting a lot out of it too. So thank you. Anyone else have any feedback or? Yeah, Anna, yeah, Andrea, go ahead. And then I'll go to Terry. Andrea, you just have to come off mute. Yeah. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Anna. This was so amazing. You know, oh, thank as you. a coach, it also takes another coach to push we push each other across the line. So <laughs> coaches. <laughs> High five. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And, Thank and you. my favorite is setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been so important to me because for years, I didn't know anything about boundaries. So now that I'm aware of the importance of boundaries, that is my first path to self-care ever. That's because awesome. if I can't make time for myself to meditate, if I can't handle my, my anxiety, whatever, if I keep on 
being in the presence of people who annoy me, irritate me, put me down, I know that I'm dragging myself down and I hold yeah. myself accountable for that. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Just Andrea. You. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, Terry, and then I saw uh, another hand go up too. Yeah, I think. Well, I just have to say thank you. This is perfect timing. Yes. And it's just funny you said about journaling. I've started journaling. And in that journal, trying to look for, like, to gratitude, to look for the positives and the good things right now. Because I am still working, but the social distancing from the social butterfly is really hell. <laughs> Part of my language, but it's really, like, yeah. it's hard for me. So... I'm just going to interrupt you for one quick second, Terry, and just say, try for everyone to try to consider this as physical distancing rather than social distancing, right? Because we're being very social here this morning, right? So that mindset shift could help. You're physically distant, but you don't have to be socially distant. Okay, true, but I'm just, I don't like the feeling of isolation, even in yeah. my house and doing yeah. that. I'm, I'm a physical therapist assistant, kind of used to being there. <laughs> so, but, um, but I have to thank you because this is just a good time because when I saw this, I thought, and it's so funny, I just bought a new notebook yesterday. I don't even know why, and it's red, like real much. <laughs> oh, so that's going to be your notebook for Monday Morning Mojo. <laughs> Yeah, and I just want to say thank you because I really need that right now with just everything going on and you know it's it's not easy right now but I'm I mean I'm coming into a different I'm, I'm trying to work on the whole self-care and somebody mentioned something about boundaries that's another thing I'm working on it's just everything you mentioned I'm like oh boy I was really meant to be here today <laughs> awesome I'm so happy I'm glad and we can you know also you know throughout the week on the Facebook page I'll share some more um, tools or resources about some of the things I talked about because I know it could feel like I went through things very fast um, because I'm trying to honor your time this morning. And again, if you need to get off the Zoom, I completely understand, but I can always give some time after the call, like for this kind of, you know, uh, aha session for a few minutes. So I'm grateful for you guys to still be here and hang out. Thank you, Terry. Ruby. I got to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for inviting me. Um, I love your positivity, so I truly appreciate the pick-me-up. Um, it's been really hard, as it is as realtors. We don't have any set kind of schedule. We have to be really disciplined, and now it's even harder being stuck at home with all the limitations that we have. You know, every day what we're allowed to do changes and trying to keep up with new forms and everything. So it's been kind of stressful. I got some other stresses on top of that, remodeling a home and just been really, really crazy. So I got away from, I'm also a Zumba instructor, but I got away from doing my Zumba at home by myself. And, you know, you go through this emotional roller coaster ride where one day it's like, you know, what's really going to happen? Am I going to die? Am I going to be one of these people that gets sick? And well, yeah. if I am going to die, I might as well die happy. Let me eat the sweets and let me, they're disappearing off the shelves anyway. So everyone else is eating them. And it's gotten me into a little bit of a rut, you know, weight wise too. I definitely gained a few pounds. So I just joined mm -hmm. a group with my local gym, um, Mindset Reset. So this is nice. perfect to go along with that. So I really thank you. Oh, I you're welcome. Positivity, I miss, I miss that. Um, and I wanted to also very quickly say hi to Kristen because I saw her in there and I haven't seen her since she was applying for an apartment in Albany many years ago. So ah. hi, Kristen. <laughs> hi, Ruby. <laughs> Hi, awesome. thank you for again. inviting me. It yeah, I'm so glad you're here. You guys okay. are doing a lot for me too, believe me. Um, I know I see Sharon has a raised hand, but first let's go to Doris. Hold on, let me see if I can unmute. There you go. I, I think I just unmuted me. Yeah, you did. Um, so thank you uh, again, like everybody else. Um, I appreciate the uh, opportunity to be here with people who are trying to be positive in life. Um, I thought last night, I'm, I'm a night owl, as you know. So for me, the, th the thought of getting up that early was really rough, um, but I'm really happy I did it. And I'm really happy that you are offering this. Um, and I do want to say, I know Terry's on the call. She had invited me to a 21 day meditation challenge a few weeks ago that came at a timing that was unbelievable. 
And beyond the 21, I now meditate every day and try to stay in touch with that. And I believe that synchronicity of this is just a continuum of the universe letting me know that this is, keep looking for positive people. So thank you. Awesome. And I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Sharon. Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for holding this. I really love it. I think the time is perfect. Um, I really, and I, I appreciated that you put that the goal is not perfection because I tend to be a perfectionist. And um, to be honest, there's no time for perfection. <laughs> it's just not a realistic goal. No. Um, so, you know, that's something I have to constantly remind myself that it's about growth and about pro progress. Um, and, and I love the action steps because Good. while you started with homework and then went to action steps, it's really just the act of asking yourself these questions and challenging yourself opens up your mind to different possibilities and really um, slowing down and, and thinking about things and, and giving yourself the ability to recalibrate when necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think the action steps is where you get an opportunity to process, right? What you heard this morning because you really need to dig into it a little bit. So thank you, Sharon. Um, Delise and Stephanie have their hands up. So I want to give everyone an opportunity. Yes, Delise, how are you? I'm good, good morning. Good morning. Um, it was totally wonderful. Oh, thank you. I, I do agree, the 7.30 kind of took me for a moment. <laughs> so it took me a minute to get my puffy eye together and everything. Oh, good. But I, I do, I've, I already, I have two pages of notes. So, wow, that was, you know, um, I definitely want to say this touched me at a, at a time where I've been feeling, you know, the last couple of days, very vulnerable. That's, that's not how I like to be. So, you know, this kind of made me feel like, you know what, this call was for me because mm -hmm. I needed to get back to, to me. Um, just with the world and just, you know, not business wise, because, you know, you know, to me, that's going to, but it's going to be, you know, you, you know, it's just life. When life finally gets that hold of you for a moment, it kind of, you know, like shakes you like a, a little, so this kind of helps me, you know, to, to regroup. And I definitely agree with what it says you know the goal is not to be perfect this is my time I'm not free about me so I'm, I'm not going to be selfish today and you know feel that I that I can't take care of me so I, I appreciate this and I'm gonna rewrite my notes because they're all over but then okay. that, that'll help me so I can see it cool so I Excellent. appreciate it oh, sorry live tv the dog wants to go out and chase the cat that's in my yard thank you Delise and who else had their hand up? Uh, yes, Stephanie. Good to, good to see you too in person. So good to see you. Thank you so much, first of all, for inviting me to this. I'm so excited to be here. Um, and this is just such a great format. So I really appreciate the input. You gave me confirmation this morning. Um, I'm in the hospitality industry. I've been a salesperson for hotels for 22 years. I was on furlough on Friday. I got the call and I'm laid off. And it really is a blow for the industry. It's very, I've cried a lot for our world, not necessarily for me because I have a plan B and I've always had a plan B. Um, I'm trying to grow as a coach and uh, I've worked on being a life coach, as you may know from things you've seen for the past few years, I'm focusing on health. And <clears throat> over the weekend, somebody said to me, and I got to read what you said because I wrote notes, say no to anything that does not serve you. And when you said that, that was my confirmation. I like to I don't want to upset anybody because I like to help people. It's my nature. That's who I am. I always want to, how can I help you? How can I network? I connect people. That's what I do. And I have, I'll, I'll over say no to things and then I'll be like, oh crap, how did I get here again? And so I'm here again mm -hmm. and I didn't say no to enough things. And now I'm looking at my schedule every day 
And it was funny when I saw this post, I said, what are you doing? And I'm like, you know what? I don't have anything in my calendar at 7.30 in the morning on Monday, <laughs> except for taking care of my animals. So let me get up and let me just see what Anna has to say. And now I understand why I'm here. So thank you. For I'm so glad you're here thank too. You. And I would thank love you. to talk to you um, about business coaching and what sure. you do and, and, talk, and learn a little bit more about what you offer. Yeah. Sure. You, you all know how to find me. So one way or the other, whether it's through Facebook Messenger, my phone, whatever. So yeah, anytime. I'd love to talk with you, Stephanie. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Anybody else have anything to say? I mean, this is really fun. This is like the post show. <laughs> Michelle, I'm pointing at you like you could tell. Michelle, what, what's up? How are you, my love? Oh, it's great. I'm so happy to be here and I can't be more thankful. I've always loved your posts and your positivity. And I think for me, that's, that's the number one thing. Everything we're hearing these days is so negative uh -huh. and, you know, I, I, I see it kind of filtering into my family and, and my kids and how do you keep them being positive when they're locked in the house? I have two teenagers and, um, for me, that's something I'm by nature a positive person, but when you're constantly bombarded with this negative energy, it's really, it's exhausting to be honest yeah. with you. And, um, you know, Stephanie, I was laid off in January, so I, I, I totally feel you and, and I was laid off and then I've been home since January and then having this mandatory home, it's, it's really, it's painful almost. So um, I love this and I can't thank you enough for putting what seems to be a very positive group of people together. And hopefully that energy will flow through to each other. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, I just wanted to mention, I heard about this book, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. That, Great book. Yeah, that um, kind of goes to finding your purpose. So I thought yep. I'd just throw that out there. I haven't awesome. read it, but I just recently heard about it and thought people here may benefit from that too. M Michelle, can you put that on the Facebook group? Would you mind Absolutely. sharing that? Sure. Yeah, uh, that's my intention is really, like I said earlier, is to help you form a sense of community here and a tribe and get resources back and forth to each other. Um, and um, yes, you know, there is a lot of negativity right now. And what we focus on expands, right? So whatever you put your energy to will grow. And I would love to give you an opportunity to share this too. I mean, if you have other friends that you think would like to be a part of this, just share the Zoom link with them and make sure they join the group too so that they can get the resources. And um, I just, I have a really big vision for this and I'm excited that you're all here and I think it will grow. So I'm excited. Any other final thoughts before we say, yeah, Tracy, go ahead. Tracy and I went to elementary school together. Yes, good morning, Anna. It's so nice good to morning. see you. Too. you wow. Have a bit. <laughs> Neither have you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I wanted to thank you. I'm not a business person. I'm not in real estate. Um, I'm, I'm a nurse. I'm a mother of five. I teach now, so I teach nursing. So talk about being in areas where you're totally giving of yourself and always putting other people ahead. Um, this is something I really needed. And I was here by myself over the weekend. Um, I'm divorced, so my kids were with their dad. And I just did not have a good week last week at all. And I saw your invite and I thought, you know, I kind of thought, eh, uh, you know, what is this all about? And I, you know, clicked on interested and I flagged it so I wouldn't forget. And um, I'm so happy I'm here that I got up, I made the effort to attend because this is totally what I needed to start my Monday. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad. Well, you, you guys have really filled my bucket today. I'll tell you that. So anybody else? I don't want to ignore you. All right. Well, listen, you have an awesome day. I'm going to post uh, in the group with uh, the, the activities. I'm not calling it homework because uh, I want you to do it. Um, and we'll see each other back here Monday again at 7.30 a.m. And I know it's a holiday weekend, so if you can join us, that's great. If you can't, there's always going to be a post with the recording so you can catch up. And again, share with your friends if you think there's someone who can benefit from it. We'd love to see the group grow. So thanks again. And I'll Thank see you, you on Monday. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.